for exactly what you get out of games like we just played. But the one thing I was really pleased with was, um, you know, our players went out there and played with the right uh, competitive character, um, started the game fast, played hard in the game, uh, tried to do something to continue to establish an identity as a team, regardless of, uh, you know, the resistance that we had. We tried to play to our standard, which was really, really good. Uh, there's things that we can obviously improve on on both sides of the ball and special teams, uh, and that's something that we will continually work to try, you know, to do. But, you know, one of the things that's most concerning is when other players have opportunities to play, uh, what's their, you know, level of performance? Uh, we didn't finish the game very well, missed a couple field goals, uh, gave up 14 points with the second defense in the game, and you know, executed, you know, not to the level and the standard that we'd like to see those guys play to. You know, they have opportunities to um, build their own resume in terms of playing winning football and uh, certainly would like to see everyone try to take advantage of that. Uh, so that's something that will be a learning experience for each one of those guys and hopefully they'll get better because of it. Um, you know, the only, you know, Jonah has a sprained ankle. He'd probably be I think the only guy that may not practice today may be able to practice tomorrow, but for sure probably by Wednesday. So uh, everybody else I think is 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 okay. Um, you know, some guys we don't always practice on Monday um, if they have issues, uh, but we don't have any significant issues from that standpoint. You know, Fayetteville has always been a difficult place, you know, to play. Um, we have a lot of respect for. Uh, Arkansas, they actually played, um, you know, Chad Morris being a new coach there. You can see every week they're getting better and better and um, certainly played their, you know, best game of the year last week against Texas A&M and, you know, had opportunities to come back and at least tie the game uh, if they could have finished, uh, you know, with another score. So they have a lot of experience. They have a lot of returning starters. Um, I think they've, you know, switched around quarterback to personnel. You know, maybe that's sort of impeded some of their progress at times, but I think they now settled on, you know, Ty Story being the starting quarterback and, you know, he's been productive and, um, you know, they, they, this is a very capable team and I know that this is what I call a little bit of a trap game uh, for us uh, in terms of, you know, all the folks out there look at who they played and what the scores were and, um, you know, don't go get prepared the way you need to get prepared and go play to your standard and the level that you have to play to to beat any team in the SEC on the road. So, um, you know, these guys are playing, you know, really a lot better on defense as well. I mean, even the, the numbers and the scores are not indicative. They've given up a couple scores on special teams. Um, so their defense is, you know, really improved and I think playing really well. So, um this is a game that I think our players need to focus on what we need to do to make sure we're ready to play and do a good job of executing in the game. Just where have you seen the most progress from Jedrick Wills through the first five games from last year? Um, well, he's a starter now. He's gotten a lot of experience. He's a physical, aggressive player. Uh, I think he's much more confident in knowing what to do, uh, how to do it, why it's important to do it that way. So his mental errors have gone way down. Uh, and he's, you know, played very physical. And uh, I think, you know, both of our tackles have played really well so far this year. Just wonder what kind of impact you've seen from the new fair cash rule on, on kickoffs? Uh, uh, I don't I don't know. Uh, I mean, I know that's a player safety deal, and um, that's that's why we're doing it. Um, you've heard me talk about it before. Um, I don't think we fair caught any yet, have we? Um, I mean, if they're three yards deep in the end zone, we don't bring them out. And, you know, we're using that as a play in a game to try to make a big play. And we have explosive players to do it. Um, a lot of people have you know, use the fair catch against us and taking the ball in the 25-yard line, which is their prerogative. And, um, you know, so 
it's a player safety issue, and hopefully it'll it'll help the safety of the players. In some of the recent years, you guys have kind of rotated the inside linebackers in between regular and nickel. It seems like this year, Mac and Dylan have been out there most of the time. What made you feel like those two guys could handle that? Well, I don't know if you're correct that we've always done that. Uh, there have been occasions when we've done that, um, when we had guys that we thought fit the roles. Um, so we feel like those two guys fit the roles to play all the time, and uh, we don't necessarily have another guy that we feel uh, fits the role uh, of being able to play, you know, better in in one circumstance or another. So that's why we've, you know, played the guys that we're playing. Just what do you remember about uh, recruiting Quentin Williams, and did you imagine him being able to slide inside at his size? Who are you talking about? Quentin Williams. Um, yeah, Quentin is. We, we we thought Quentin was a really good athlete in high school. Um, he, um, you know, only weighed maybe 260 pounds or whatever. But we really liked his quickness, his athletic ability, his um, ability to run. Uh, those are really the kind of guys that we like to look for. You know, Jonathan Allen was a little bit of an uh, undersized guy when we recruited him. But when they get a little bigger and stronger, they're still athletic. They still have the quickness, and uh, he's played very consistent for us all year long. And been a very productive player for us so um, he, he's developed and he's a hard worker he's got a great attitude he's got good leadership qualities um, so he, he has he has worked hard to develop into being a very productive player for us you mentioned Arkansas special teams how uh, how long does it take for a program to establish you know good special teams and uh, um, is that an area do you feel like you can well, I, I think that they're they're good in some area, you know, in some of the special teams. I think it's been a little inconsistent sometimes. I think when you have new coaches and you do things differently, the players don't understand exactly what they're supposed to do and how they're supposed to do it, why it's important to do it that way. And I think they're very capable. Uh, they've been very effective on teams uh, at times, but you know that they've they've had some plays that have hurt them as well. Um, you know, we're going to work hard to do the best we can on special teams to create some advantage in the game and every game that we play, and won't be any different in this game. Coach, uh, through five starts, is there anything that, that Tua has done that's exceeded your expectations? His statistics are so remarkable. Is there anything in that that, that surprises you at all? Um, Look, I have, we have a lot of confidence in both of our guys here, and we have a lot of confidence in Tua, and he has played extremely well um, in, in every game. Uh, I think he's, um, you know, he's, he's right on target most of the time, not only in where he delivers the ball, but who he delivers it to and why he should do it that way. I think the, the coaches have done a really good job of, you know, helping him be able to understand exactly what the expectation is. Um, and I think, you know, he would be the first to tell you that uh, all the players on offense, the protection has been, you know, pretty good for him. And uh, the receivers have done a good job of getting open. Um, so the combination of those things is he's been very, very efficient and played very, very well. Now, you know, I, I expect every player to play that way. Uh, but He's probably exceeded uh, that to some degree in terms of his consistency, and hopefully we'll be able to do the things we need to do to help him continue to play with that kind of consistency. Is there an update on Terrell Lewis, and has the recovery process from that injury changed at all in the last few years? Uh, well, Terrell's making really good progress uh, in his rehab and what he's able to do. And, um, you know, I, I don't, I'm not a doctor, so, you know, it's a medical decision as to when he can start running, doing drills, uh, when he can practice, when he can play. And, you know, we, we have no established timetable for those things. It's uh, strictly up to the medical staff in terms of the progress, the strength development. Um, all those things that 
you know, go into account is to say, you know, all right, what's the next step of this rehab? And it's a little different for every guy. Uh, he's a really hard worker. He's really worked really hard at his rehab, and it's going really, really well. But um, philosophically, I don't make those decisions about, you know, when a guy should or shouldn't play or what's changed. I don't know that anything's changed. You stress the important of importance of uh, affecting the quarterback, maybe not without getting sacks. Uh, is that something you've seen from Raekwon Davis, and how influential has he been to the pass rush? Well, I, I think you know our guys have done a reasonably good job up front um, in terms of affecting the quarterback. I, I think you know sometimes there wasn't a lot of opportunities. You know, we got a lot of formations, a lot of motions, a lot of variables in the last game that. Um, you know, we didn't pressure a lot in the game. Uh, so, you know, that affects, you know, maybe how many sacks you get. But I think um, we did a pretty good job in the passing game. Um, you know, we gave up the, you know, two big plays when the twos went in there. Otherwise, you know, it would have been, you know, a pretty good day from, you know, affecting the quarterback, pass rush, pushing the pocket, decent coverage. Um, so it kind of all goes hand in hand.